Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, how's it going? So, uh, scale talk number, I think it's 12 or 15, I can't remember now. There's been a few now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we uh, are really privileged today to uh, kind of step it up an extra level. Uh, we've talked about accessories, we've talked about uh, collections, we've talked about all kinds of scale stuff, and today we're going to introduce to you guys a brand new local builder here, Sean Saley. Hi, how are you guys? And uh, as you can see by the collection here, uh, this is uh, how much percentage of your collection? Oh, this is probably about 5%. My okay. I have probably over <laughs> 70 rigs that uh, wow. not all custom made, but uh, yeah. most of them now are, are all custom made because I just can't find the bodies that I want. Well, the, you yeah. know, you said something really important there. These, these what you're seeing in front of us, uh, except for I think this one, yeah, are all, that's a new all, bright. all custom made. So, so how did we uh, how did we get introduced to you? How did we meet? Where did we meet? We went, met at that uh, club there, uh, yeah. the Ottawa Ottawa Crawlers Club. It's amazing that uh, we met this gentleman uh, at one of our local events. We we meet uh, once a month at our Ottawa club, and uh, I walked in. Uh, I was a little late showing up, and I walked in, and I will tell you, when I saw these rigs, <laughs> my jaw hit the ground. And here's a local <laughs> guy who's. In yes. my opinion, one of the best builders I've ever seen. <clears throat> well, there are a lot of good yeah. guys out there, let me tell you. Well, these are incredible. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, why are you building scale trucks? Um, I just I just like the scale aspect of it. I'm uh, into detail. I'm a cabinet baker by trade. Uh, so proportions, uh, just details are, are my biggest thing. You this, know, seems, scale. Uh, this seems kind of like art. They are definitely works of art. I've always said, sort of, you know, when we build yeah. these, these are, but this is like, again, next level with custom. These truly are masterpieces. <clears throat> well, I like to, uh, to do very, I like to do the older trucks because they have a style to them that, you know, the new trucks are nice, but, you know, there are certain curves about the old trucks that I just, I just love. Well, you know, you're right it about being that. Chevy, Ford, you know, Dodge, they all have their own uniqueness. There's uh, there's so many going on here. I don't even think we can fit them all in the in the camera scope here, but they are absolutely beautiful. So, what as a general, what what do you what's your build technique? What are you using? What's your material? First, I start off with uh, cardboard. Uh, I draw a template and then uh, styrene, okay. uh, one hundred thou, one twenty five thou, and uh, then I just start molding, shaping, cutting, and. Uh, this is what you get? This is what I get. So, I'm, right in front of me, you can see this one is in sort of, uh, 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 needs to be finished. So, this is primed. That's, that's my working in progress right? work. This is a new bright body that sort of you customized. Yes. And then this one over here is a full custom that you've done. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Absolutely they're all amazing. they're all custom. The only thing that I buy that are, are, um, are detailed are the lenses. Okay. Because I can't chrome them. Right. And also the front lights. Uh, pretty much everything else, I try to make everything, you know, the bumpers, uh, the only thing I buy are the axles, tires, sure. rims, you know, your basic transmission stuff. Do you and make your own uh, frames and stuff then? Yep, I make my own frames out of quarter inch uh, aluminum. Oh wow, uh, heavy. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's, I tried the, the 3 16 but it just was too light. Okay. I couldn't uh, self-thread. It would, it would oh, strip yeah. on me, right. so right. I find that the quarter inch made a better building material. And of course, I have all the tools at home to to uh, make all this stuff because I have a table saw, sander. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Of course. So tools make a big, big difference. Right, absolutely. Oh yeah, and you know, like I don't know, I'm amazed. <laughs> these things are absolutely incredible. Um, the, and and the mass on them, they, these things oh, are they're heavy, heavy, yeah, heavy they are. And, and solid and. And it really sort of, uh, you know, when they <clears throat> sit here, it really works the suspension well. They look terrific. Well, they so, ride nice. Yeah. You know, Are because you, uh, of the weight. I'm just trying to figure out, you're using all RC four-wheel drive axles, right? So that's the width that you're working with? Yeah. The reason why I'm, I'm, I'm making my own body thing, I couldn't find bodies that were eight inches or more wide. Right, right. Uh, yeah. They're all... They're all seven inches, yeah. and then the wheels stick out, yeah. and it, it just doesn't look scale to me. Yeah. And I like it when when you know wheel wells align up with the wheels. Yeah. It looks a lot better. So what would we consider these? Would these be the sort of ascender blazer size, uh, like a one Probably. ninth? Uh, yeah. 
And they that your new bright. Yeah, yeah, I would think they'd be a one nine. Yeah, your new bright size. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because this is a this is a new bright right here, so you know they're equal in size. Yeah. And they're they these ones are considered one eighth. Okay. From okay. new bright. Okay. Yeah, I like a one eight and one ninth, one eighth scale. They're 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 big. They're big. Yeah, that one uh, the four might be a little bit bigger. Sure. Uh, but I wanted to have a little bigger truck. Sure. To have the bigger wheels. Yep. Yeah. So these are one nine wheels, and then. Is that a one nine wheel? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a big one. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's the. Well, the tire's big, eh? The yeah. cloth. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the, a, the that's one point nine. Uh, oh, yeah. From yeah. RC. They look like they're all sort of one point nine rims. Yeah, I kind of think yeah. they're. Yeah. Except for this one, that's a one point seven. Oh, okay. My the, the Datsun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put on a pair of one five five. Yeah. Uh, tires on it. Yeah. So what what is this? This is a Chevrolet. What year? Uh, that one's a fifty. You can probably a fifty five. Okay. Uh, that one's a seventy two. Yeah. This one's a sixty three. GMC. Or, yeah, yeah. Or sixty four. Yeah. And then of course that one's probably uh, uh, two thousand twelve, two thousand eleven so Chevy. Yeah. 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 Uh, that one's a seventy nine or seventy eight Datsun King Cab. Okay. And the other one is a fifty nine Ford F one hundred. Wow. Step side. Yeah. <clears throat> really so uh, we want to do rig reviews on these, sort of we're going to do like a Chevy rig review day and then we'll do a Sean's project review day <laughs> and uh, and then the cool thing is when you're done with those you can bring them back. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll yeah. be able to see the yeah, video progress. of the yeah, progress. Exactly. Progress. The final, yeah. the final, yeah. pro uh, the final product. Yeah. Your, your build techniques and the, the attention to detail is uh, in the upper scale of of people that do this type of thing it is uncanny how beautiful these things look thank you very Amazing. much yeah. well i spend a lot of time you know there's probably about a month and a half worth of work really each yeah. one each one wow that's you actually know. not not much time at all I'll it spend, seems like it's I'll fast spend four to six months on one <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're popping them out like it's a production line this is amazing yeah. well yeah. this is you know uh, after my work this is how it calms me down yeah. relaxes me yeah. Uh, this is my passion. Yeah. I always figured if they started making scale axles and scale products, boy, that would be my my cup of tea. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's true. You know, you you funny you say that because uh, part of the joy in this in this hobby, and I think we'll all agree, is that you know we can come home after a tough day at work, sit in our uh, man cave or workshop, yeah. and be able to to you know work on something that we are proud of and at the end of the day hopefully becomes a, a nice runner and a, a, a good time and even a work of art like we have in front of us i always tell my wife oh uh, just let me do this one little thing about an hour later <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she yeah. says are you ready to go <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, hold, on, yeah, hold, hold on. on hold on yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. of course before i leave everything has to be nicely course, done you know course. what i mean yeah of course <laughs> yeah yeah because i, I can that. lose uh, i can lose two three hours four oh, right. hours and yeah Oh you know, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> on on one detail. Yeah, I can believe it. <clears throat> Just so so I can get it perfect. You know, all these bumpers are all custom made. Yeah, and they take time. Sure. Wow. Well, really, really, really nice. So we're gonna do some uh, rig reviews on these. Uh, get up and close and personal on some of these because uh, they deserve it. And uh, you need to see some of the details that are coming out on these ones. <clears throat> it's coming. Yeah, you betcha. I'm going to put a link below for you guys to check out uh, Sean's builds on the Scale Builders Guild. And uh, you need to see this stuff in action. Yeah, for sure. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to learn something here in the next couple hours trying to do these videos and uh, learn some of your techniques. And uh, No problem. Really nice. Really nice. Keep watching, guys. Rig reviews coming up real soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.